What's up, man? How you doing? You alright? I'm good. So, kid the producer. No doubt. Um, it's, it's been a minute. I've been wanting to sit down and have a conversation with somebody that's been uh, a pioneer in the city of Detroit in the music industry. Why don't you tell us like a little bit about, you know, your, I guess, background. Local and national. National, we know for BG. Um, when he left uh, Cash Money, like, we was the first people to grab him. We produced his first album. Um, it went gold, and then we ended up signing a five album deal with Kosh. So we did his last five albums. Then we ended up working with Royce, Royce the Five Nine, Rick Ross, Jim Jones, Snoop Dogg. Um, there's so many people, like, I can't right. even. And just here in locally in Detroit, we did one of the biggest albums that ever come out of Detroit, which was KDZ album. Blade Icewood and Tone Tone, a lot of other people. Right, there's right. so many people I can't even remember them all. So when did you get yours? Like, when would you say you started? music like like what do you think was your starting point actually it was all a joke it wasn't even like i wasn't really serious about it you know i was working at ford and uh my boy did everybody know that you know from execution style which is um, jay they call him jc Capone, but my boy jay i heard him say something and it was like let's what do we need to like take this serious so i started buying equipment i used ford to get the equipment and we made a couple demos and it was like they sound pretty good, so like right. we just took it serious from that point. With that, then like 2002, we, we grinded out that year. We dropped like maybe two albums. The first album was Temperamental. Second one we did was Civilized Evil, and then we, we felt ready like we did do the industry stuff. So when we did that, we got fortunate and ran into BG and the rest history. So that's about like 15, 16 years of of being in the music business. So I would say. I, it's funny, like I always say it takes 10 years to become like an overnight success. Mm -hmm. You guys caught some success rather early in the process. Would you attribute that to talent or would you contribute that to just kind of being in the right place at the right time? It's a lot of things. It's, the main thing is um, the talent, all the, all the things you just said, the consistency. Right? You have to keep up. Anything that you're trying to do, whether it's music, whether it's cutting the hair, whether it's starting a business, you can't think that it's gonna happen. That happens for one or two people out of a million, but you literally have to stay consistent. You have to make sacrifices. Right. I always talk about passion and like finding your passion. And when you find your passion, then you should kind of build your life around right. that yeah. passion. If you're doing something with money as the primary motive, mm -hmm. then the chances of it being successful become extremely low. Right. As opposed to doing something because you love it and because you're passionate about it and because like your team is passionate about it, <laughs> then um, typically the chances of that working out or being successful is a lot higher right. because you're doing it for the right reason. Right. But what would you say in terms of like how the mark, how the industry has changed, and how it's more based on marketing and gimmicks and social media. If you are trying to sell T-shirts or anything, you need to go to these conventions on marketing and just you can pick up one thing, and people don't look at it like that. Like they'll say it costs two hundred dollars to go, and they won't pay the two hundred dollars. But you can go there, pay the two hundred dollars, and hear one thing that can turn your whole business around. And people don't look at stuff like that. What projects that you have happening right now or things you have um, planned for the future? I got an album coming out um, called Vicissitude. And Vicissitude means that it, um, it's uh, an unwanted set of circumstances or change. Um, it's got, uh, I think, like 16 to 17 tracks. It's all pretty much hip hop, back to the original state. It's not my typical stuff, but when you are an artist, what I learned from Kanye, Kanye said this, he was like, even you an artist, you just have to realize that you don't paint a picture uh, for yourself, you have to paint it for the world. I think there's a big void in music education and people right. just kind of understanding how to get their paperwork straight, how to set up their business correctly, um, how to avoid some of the pitfalls that the music game might, might have. And I feel like you could be a huge contribution. It's a mistake people make with me. They think all I do is go in the studio and make beats, and I don't. Mm -hmm. I teach, you know, all the artists that I work with, pros and cons, the do's and don'ts, how publishing work, how you're supposed to get paid, what you shouldn't get paid from. It's something that you have to do that 
You just have to do it because it's a part of promoting yourself. Right. And you have to know how to walk in the room and how you carry yourself. What do you think, why do you think artists from Detroit specifically struggle or have struggled historically to either get deals or to keep deals? Half of them don't have a passion for it. Before I could rap or before I could produce a song, I had to carry uh, mics. I had to carry the desk. I was responsible for running the show. I had to, when they got through rapping, I had to unhook the mics and, you know, just stuff like that. And so they don't develop a, uh, a passion for it and they don't develop a respect for it. Right. Because you can just go to the, to the guitar center or wherever you go to buy a program for $200, get a computer and just hook a mic up to it and just put it on the internet now so it ain't no passion. You were explaining music and how certain um, certain chords, certain instruments are like really designed, I guess, to create like certain emotions. Right. And like that never left my mind. Like, right. it, like that comment surprised me so much from so many different levels because it made me know that you really understood like what you were doing. All you have to know is the basic chords. This is a, like a real big tip. Learn basic chords and learn how to make instruments talk to each other. When you understand that, that's when you will make a hit record because you'll know what type of song you want to make. And if you don't know what type of song, that's why the music, people don't understand. This is real talk. People just say, why do the music all sound the same? Because they haven't developed the emotion exactly. of understanding how to make instrument work together. So that cello, that string, and that bass, and that simple drum is a combination of sounds that spark some type of emotion in you. It make you say, this song right here, I want to get married to this. Or, this guy make me sick, I hate him. You right, know what I'm right, saying? Right. It, it causes that type of chemistry in the brain and people don't understand that. When you understand that, that's when you will make a hit record. That's a ton to, uh, to swallow or take in, I guess, just in one little interview. But like, I'm looking to do and see more of that type of information being you know, put out to the masses because we know in Detroit, like we can definitely use it. Right. So um, let's definitely talk more about that, just so people know how to find you. Uh, I know you're on Facebook. Can you give them like? Yeah, Facebook.com/slash/KidsWorld. K-I-D-D-S-W-R W-O-R-L-D. Um, the Twitter is the same. It's uh, Twitter.com/slash/KidsTheProducer. Uh, Instagram is just KidsTheProducer. K-I-D-D-T-H-A Producer. And then uh, remember the the Institute is getting ready to come soon. I got a new artist named Dahlia the Poet that's getting ready to come out. Uh, stay tuned. We're going to be doing some crazy stuff where you need. And that's pretty much it. Hey, appreciate you, man. Yeah. Thank you for coming through. Yeah.